Good morning, guys. The library is completely open. I saw it. Can I get on the subway? I almost went downtown instead of uptown. That would have been that would have been problematic. After multiple fails of getting on the right train, I finally made it. And the thing with the American Museum of National History, Natural History is that you have to reserve a time to arrive. It's about to be 1230 and that's my time for reservation. We cannot be more than 10 minutes late, but I made it to the right stop, finally. So I realized I cannot just quickly stop by and check out the American Museum of Natural History. I did not realize how huge that museum is. I want to come back and just dedicate a whole day to the museum because it, it's that big. I was so overwhelmed. Today I was supposed to go to both this museum as well as uh, the Metropolitan Museum. The problem is with the mat, it closes. Hold on, what, what is this? What, I'm gonna stop, I don't wanna get lost. <laughs> it closes at 5 p.m. So I said I have to decide to leave this museum early. Um, actually, no, I couldn't even decide because I paid. I then there's no refund. So I was like, you know what? I checked out only the beginning of the museum i did the planetary show the planetarium show and i fell asleep mainly because i'm tired <laughs> but it was good i thought it was going to be literally worlds beyond the title of the, of the of the tour beyond our solar system they were just talking about the planets within our solar system which made me kind of sad regardless uh i was overwhelmed i was overwhelmed i was like okay you know what i'm gonna come back another day Next time I'm in New York, I'm gonna just dedicate a whole day to this museum. And now I'm on my way to Sweet Green. I'm gonna grab lunch. And then from there, I'm going to uh, probably walk across Central Park, hopefully, depending. If it's a far walk, I'm gonna take the subway to the Met Museum. And then um, from there, we'll see where the day takes us. somewhere around here but here's, here's a quick glimpse at it 
um, for a salad. It is pricey. It is very pricey. But you know what? I don't got this in Florida. Ooh. Okay, this is really good. Okay, let's try this sweet cream. Mmm, balsamic vinaigrette. Delicious. Delicious. Okay, first bite. No okay. one. It's good. It's good. Mm. I can, I can definitely make this at my house though, but it's good. It's good. Let's eat. Walking through Central Park. Oh my god, why don't we have more of these in Florida? It's just insane. The weather, immaculate. Like, I can't. Oh, children, children everywhere. <laughs> because of all of these um, summer camps and stuff. But, regardless, the weather here absolutely insane it is perfect Okay, you did it, the Met check. I did as much as I could in two hours. And funny enough, you still don't have enough time. But I will say, beautiful. <laughs> it was absolutely insane. My favorite part was the, what is it? I think it was called like the, the American Anthropology of Fashion. I think that's what they named it. It was super cool. The mannequins, they look funny. They look funny. I don't know. I don't know why they did that, but they looked really funny. But regardless, I do find it pretty insane how well kept these costumes were. And I don't know if 
there's glass if there was that glass was extra clean today but i think they were just out in the open and that just makes me question how how are they keeping these costumes so well intact if they are their original and then with the what's it called with the artifacts i didn't get to everything but i've never seen greek artifacts and greek statues in person before so i hope i'm going the, no, i am going the right way so it was really cool seeing them in person and just oh siri but but regardless it was beautiful everything about it insane art blows my mind the kimonos they had a kimono collection also insane sorry i got distracted and i'm also still slightly embarrassed to vlog in public but we're getting there i realized the, for the first day i was filming below my neck one not a flattering angle and two not a flattering angle regardless but we're improving we're improving it's just it's all about the confidence <laughs> But yeah, it was a really, really nice day today. Uh, today, as of now, has been, I believe, the most I've walked in a fat minute. I did not bring my Apple Watch. I kind of wish I did so I could see how many steps I've took. How many steps? How many steps I've done in a day? But now, time for the subway, and let's hope I manage to get back to my humble bow in one one try no <laughs> no problems good morning guys it is friday june 10th last full day here i woke up kind of late today okay i didn't wake up late i just laid in bed till later than usual did some homework and now I am going to get some Colombian coffee. It's a uh, Romeo y Julieta. I know it's Romeo and Juliet, but that's that doesn't seem right knowing it's a Colombian coffee shop. So I'd rather pronounce it in Spanish. So Romeo, Romeo, yes, Romeo y Julieta. And their menu looked absolutely exquisite. So I'm gonna go there. Also, yesterday. Emma Chamberlain posted a picture saying that she's in New York. Like she added the location and it was New York. And I posted on my Insta story. I was like, hey, help me manifest me meeting her. But I don't know, like her meter cost pass with her is very low. Not zero, just very low. So hey, maybe she's craving Colombian coffee today for all I know. I mean, would, would that be crazy? That'd be insane if she was like, I feel like Colombian coffee today. <laughs> I mean, they do sell her favorite type of coffee drink, which is like Cortado. So maybe. If that coffee shop doesn't stream any more Colombian, I don't know what does. Everything was Colombian, everything, the decorations, it was so cute. Uh, the workers, I believe, were paisa, based on their accent. Anyway, so this is it. I ordered an ice latte with oat milk. Wow, you could see. I've never been someone that's like, oh, this is bad coffee or good coffee. If I like the flavor, I like the flavor. Period. But this one, I can actually taste the difference and the coffee beans interesting i love i love it it is really really good wow of course of course colombian coffee is gonna taste good but yeah this five out of five so cute oh no that's that's a webtoon that's a webtoon bus one thing i will say i will splurge on coffee coffee i will splurge on i paid what tip 764 i think but it's really good now i don't know what i'm doing right now i think i'm gonna go back to the hotel real quick 
but I will definitely be coming back to that coffee shop to do homework. I love the, the ambiance in there. Um, I will be wearing my my headphones though while I study because they were play, they were playing a reggaeton in the coffee shop. I can't listen to that while I study. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah.